Hi there, Scott Page here with episode 4 in my series on transmitters using OpenTX 2.0 and beyond. This episode I'm going to call, You Don't Need Black Magic to Use a Tyrannus, But You're Going to Love the Wizard. What I'm going to look at is a great tool that comes standard with the Tyrannus Plus, because Tyrannus Plus ships with OpenTX 2.0, and there's a fantastic Lua script for creating new models. While the transmitter starts, I want to give a shout out to Kim at Lone Star Hydrographics for the great job she did painting this case. Their prices are reasonable and you can get some really sweet looking transmitters with the hydrographic dip. If you're in a bit more of a hurry, you might also check out the custom cases available from Aloft Hobbies. They've got some great cases in stock and are ready to ship. Transmitter started up. So I'll short press the menu key and then the minus key to scroll down one place. Then I use the long press of the enter key to get the option to create a new model. A short press of the enter will make this happen and it opens up the model wizard. If I don't want the wizard, I can now use the exit key to take me out of the wizard. Navigation on each wizard screen is done with plus and minus buttons. To get to subsequent screens, I use page buttons. So we see there's a wizard for helis, elevon style wings, and even multicopters. Now I'll use the plus key to reverse direction and I'll press the enter key to start making a standard wing model. The first question wants to know if I have an engine or a motor. The model I'm setting up does, so I'll press the minus key to jump to the next option, which is the channel number I want for my throttle. I'll press the enter key once to allow editing of the channel number, and then press the plus twice to select channel 3. Whoops. I pressed page menu to move to the next screen, but that won't work until I finish editing the channel by selecting the enter key. Several presses of the page key shows me the screens I'll be navigating through. Long presses on the page key will bring me back through the screens to where I started. The second screen asks about ailerons. I have two, so I'll press the enter key and then the minus key to select that I have two ailerons and I like each on a separate channel. I want my ailerons to be on channels 1 and 2, so I'll use the minus key to choose the right aileron and then change it from 5 to 1. The enter key confirms the selection and allows me to page to the next screen. Next question is flaps. I'm setting up a plane with flaps and I want each flap on a separate channel. I'm going to set the flaps up on channels 7 and 8. So now that flaps are set up, I'll push the page menu and that takes me to air brakes. I don't have air brakes in this model, so I'll push the page menu again, and that'll take me to the screen where I'll set up my tail configuration. This model uses two channels for elevator, so I'll press the enter key to select it, move down to the elevator two channels plus rudder, and then I'll go ahead and use the minus key to move over and set my channels so that I'll have the left elevator on channel four, the right elevator on channel five, and that leaves me the rudder on channel 6. Let's look at another really cool feature of the wizard. While I've selected a specific servo channel, I can now press the menu key to get into a sub menu that allows me to adjust the sub trim, servo center, and also the servo direction. Same as the other screens, I can jump from option to option using the plus and minus keys. Enter selects the current selection for editing. Pressing menu or page will not get you out of this sub menu you need to press exit to get back to the main screen thread. The final screen is the confirmation menu. This is a screen to take a moment and make sure you have not assigned the same channel to two different control services. And this is possible with the wizard. Once you're satisfied the setup is good, all you have to do is press the enter key for a long press and you're back into the normal menu. Five presses of the page key take me to the mixer screen where I can check and see if the mixer did what I wanted and to my pleasure, it looks correct. I can long press the enter key on any of these lines to enter an editing menu for that line, and then I can make fine tuning or adjustments to anything. Now I'd like to see if the channels seem to behave as expected, so I'll exit out to the home screen and press the page key briefly three times to get to the channel monitor. Here I can see the signal the transmitter will be sending to the receiver. The flaps defaulted to the A switch, but any of these settings are able to be edited. After a quick check over all the channels to see that the stick movements match the output, I'll exit back out to the main menu 
and make another model. This time, let's go with elevons and a flying wing. Again, the enter key selects the wing option, and the first question is about an engine or motor. Again, I'll be setting my motor to channel 3. I'll press the enter key to confirm the selection, and then press page to go to the next option screen. This screen is for the elevons. The great thing is that hard work is done regarding elevons. I just need to choose which channels I want, and I want to have the elevons on channels 1 and 2. So I'll change the left side to channel 1, and the final setup screen asks about the presence of rudder. The default is no, but I do have a rudder in this case, so I'll press enter and then down to choose yes for rudder. The default channel is channel 4, and that's what I want, so I don't have to make any changes there. A quick check of the final setup screen, and then a long press of the enter key to confirm and finish setting up this model. I'll exit out to the main menu, and again page across to the mixer screen. This is gorgeous. Elevons all set up with a minimum of fuss. As before, a long press on any of these lines will allow me to enter the settings for that line. Now another check of the channel monitor, and I see that it's working as planned. Wow, there, I set up two very different aircraft in six minutes, and really, the only questions I needed to ask was what channels do I want to correspond to what control services. If I want to add export rates, I'll do that later in the input screen. But that's a topic I've already breezed over, and I'll show some more detail on that in a future video. Hey, thanks a lot for watching, and I hope you can get as many hours of enjoyment from your Tyrannus as I have from mine. Until next time, this is Scott Page.